luck charms in magic. In this video we show you some luck charms. Stick around to the end for our power tip which will help you transform bad luck into good luck. Hello, I'm Max Raven. And I'm Cassandra Raven. Together we have over 30 years experience in the occult, witchcraft and magic. We share insights, knowledge, advice and lifestyle tips to make your magic go further and add potency to your work. Luck charms are one of the most common forms of magic that we come across in everyday life. Almost everyone will know the classic ones such as horseshoe, four leaf clovers and rabbit's feet. Luck charms and protection charms are very much linked. A luck charm will be for increasing good luck and avoiding misfortune. Some harken back to protecting cattle, crops, livestock and children. Some can be for giving you an advantage in a game of chance, perhaps a lucky charm for a soldier going into battle. Another symbol for luck is a four-leaf clover, not easy to find as roughly one in every 5,000 will have four leaves instead of three. In 1869, a description was written of that four-leaf clovers were gathered at night time during the full moon by sorceresses, who mixed it with vervain and other ingredients, while young girls, in search of a token of perfect happiness, made quests for the plant by day. A poem from 1914, said to have been recited on finding a four-leaf clover, is One leaf for fame, and one for wealth, and one for a faithful lover. One to bring you glorious health, and all are in a four-leaf clover. Other luck charms from the natural world include the shepherd's crown, a sea urchin fossil, also known as a fairy loaf or thunderstone, depending from where you're from. And herbs that can also be used include heather, mint, rose, allspice and chamomile. Including these in your spellcraft or carrying them in a small bag or pouch will increase the potency. Consider planting any of them around your home if you can. A well-known charm is a lucky horseshoe. Nailing a horseshoe to your front door or to the master of a ship is a way to protect the home and ensure safe travel. Even Lord Nelson had a horseshoe nailed to the mast of his flagship HMS Victoria. The orientation of the horseshoe depends on the traditions where you're from, certainly in the UK. In most cases, having the points facing upwards are for luck, and the points facing downwards are for protection. Coming up is our power tip, which will help you change bad luck into good luck. If you enjoy our videos, be sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Laugh if you will, who imps nor devils fear, whom death appalls, not phantoms, come not near. Along whose nerve no quick vibration dart, as teeming twilight shadowy offspring start. Not yours to feel the joy with which I flew to snatch the rusty warm and lucky shoe. Off have I heard them chattering at my door, the hags who dances beat the shrinking moor. Oft have I sprung from my nightmare haunted rest, and gasped an aura from my panting breast, as forms that vanish ere the half shut eye, with fright could open from their rebels fly. Henceforth, good horseshoe, vain shall be their ride, their spells are baffled, their rage denied. Power tip. How to turn bad luck into good luck. Using symbology, you can create your own lucky charms, signs and omens. Feeling like something bad is going to happen only attracts that energy. So instead of fearing bad luck, be excited about something great that's going to happen. Magpies are supposedly an unlucky omen. You may have heard the poem that begins with one for sorrow, two for joy. One of the reasons why magpies are seen as bad luck is because it was believed it was one of the forms witches would take when travelling to the Sabbath. But I've turned seeing a magpie into a good thing. Being a witch myself, it only seems proper to salute a solitary magpie as a sign of respect. Black cats, also associated with witches, are supposed to be unlucky, particularly if they cross your path. I always see black cats as a good omen, a sign that some good luck is coming my way. Comment below and let us know what luck charms you use. Do you have any personal omens? Join our Raven Mystic community on social media. And good luck. Thank mm -hmm. you.